Hello, YBC family. I got a couple questions for you here today. One is, who's still on the throne? God is, isn't he? The other question is, who is sovereign over everything that is going on? God is. I tell you, in the times of trouble in which we now live, those truths become more beautiful by the day, I think. And I even love that when we come together as a body, uh, as the body of Christ especially, as Christ followers, when we come together and acknowledge who God is, oh man, it does something. It does something deep inside, doesn't it? When we come together and we acknowledge who He is. So I want to just make an invitation to you for this Sunday uh, as we come together, whether you're in person with us, whether you're watching online, come together because we want to highlight through our actions that verse that has been quoted so many times uh, since especially COVID has begun and hit us and we've been in the middle of this pandemic out of 2 Chronicles 7, you know the verse very well where God says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, will seek my face, will turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will hear their land and I will forgive their sin as well. I love that verse. I love the whole tone of the verse where we are invited by God himself, sovereign God who is sitting on the throne. He says, hey, you people who are called by my name, come, humble yourselves before me, seek my face, pray, and I will do some amazing things. And so I invite you to that. That's what we want to do this Sunday in our service. Pastor Aaron will be leading us really in a time of prayer. We want to really devote our time to do exactly what this verse says. As we, his people, called by his name, as Christians, as Christ followers, that we come to him together corporately and humble ourselves before him in prayer and in praise of who he is. We're going to have a time of praise and of prayer together. And as I said, Pastor Aaron will lead us through that. It's going to be a rich time together. And again, for me, boy, when we come together and just seek the Lord together, it's, it's an amazing thing because, because God does move, even as he promises in his verse, he will move on his behalf, on our behalf. He will unite our hearts in him and we'll be richer for it. We will grow together in him. We will go away with our hearts full, full of who he is. And it'll be an encouragement to us all. So I invite you to that this Sunday. Also, I want to remind us of our Thanksgiving service, 9 o'clock, uh, up at the Worship Center there. We will be streaming that as well. Pastor Corey will be leading us in it, uh, through that. And looking for a rich time there, too, as we offer Thanksgiving uh, to our good God. God bless you, IBC family. We love you and pray for you. And that we're in this world. We're in this journey together, you all. So let's just keep looking to the Lord. He is faithful. We trust him. Amen. God bless you.